Uh, Tanjit, I want to raise the issue of the backlog of um, assessment of need. I have, on a number of occasions, uh, in, uh, asked about the use of the National Treatment Purchase Fund to purchase assessments and interventions before to be informed that this was not possible and would require legislation. And even in a PQ reply received this week, it stated that the National Treatment Purchase Fund can only be used to purchase treatment in a hospital setting. However, the use of the fund for assessment in the North was offered as an option to a parent with an autistic child who requires an urgent assessment. And when the, inquire, the parent inquired more about using the fund, he was informed by a regional manager within the HSC that the HSC is using this scheme since last December and has sent children to Belfast and even as far away as Poland for autism assessments. Now, I fully support this as a temporary measure to ensure that children that require assessment and interventions now get those services now, because parents shouldn't have to pay privately for those uh, when they're entitled to them in the public sector. But can, I'm asking for clarification because I'm being told one thing in a PQ response from the Minister and another thing by someone within the HSC. I'll talk so to the, the Minister about that. that. Um, it is open to the NTPF to do outpatients, for example, um, or con con you know, appointments with consultants. Now, predominantly, it has been on uh, inpatient acute treatments. That's been a predominant application of the Treatment Purchase Fund. But the Minister has indicated in the past that it can be used for disabilities uh, as well, uh, and also uh, to deal with that very significant outpatient list as opposed to the inpatient list. Uh, and uh, I will alert the Minister to the point that you've raised here. 